Hey YouTubers, guess who's back? Finally, it's that time of year again. We uh, had our local uh, train show here last month and uh, got us back in the mood here. So, as I uh, said in my previous video, which has been quite a while ago, um, this area here I was going to completely rip up and start fresh. And that's what we've done. Um, I just got stuff building sitting here right now, just kind of a mock-up so I can get the track plan um, kind of how I want it to be here. But uh, we ripped up uh, the main line, uh, everything at the grain elevator here, all the way down. That's why I'm listening to music and not running trains right now because uh, my main line's not finished. But uh, we uh, replaced the uh, Atlas switches with uh, Pico switches here. Um, that is the yard lead. That there is going to be the lead heading into the grain elevator. And this switch will be heading into the other little small industrial section over here. Add a little crossover in there. There's a switch down there. This is my super sweet feeds that's going to be over here. And I haven't 100% decided what exactly is going to go over here but I think we're going to put the door company here and this little building here not sure yet but once we get the track laid out we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there um, and a little bit of a lead coming off here into a switch we're going to have two tracks in the green elevator here um, one for Phil once it gets done filling in here, the track bubble will pull the cars out and stick them into the full track. Um, when the trains come by, they'll pick up the uh, ones that are full and drop off empties for them. Uh, before, I just had one track coming in and I had uh, a couple switches down here with uh, two, three car storage tracks down there. I ripped all that up and uh, we're going to go this route. Going to be adding a couple of uh, tall grain bends here in this area um, with an elevator on top that'll uh, connect over here to uh, the actual grain elevator. Uh, these will be uh, wet dry bends. Um, I have a uh, grain leg um, that I am currently putting together now from Pike stuff, uh, a lot of small pieces, so it's taken me forever to get it put together, but uh, once that gets done, uh, that'll go between these bins here um, with pipes going down into the top of the bins and whatnot there. Eventually over in this area we're going to add the uh, uh, propane tanks uh, for the dryers and whatnot over in this area here. But uh, yeah, uh, that time of year again we're back at it so I'm down here today. Uh, I'm going to get the new uh, cork and stuff laid for the main line here. Uh, get the main line put down and uh, the switches and everything so I can at least run some trains while I am working on the rest of this here but uh, yeah uh, as far as that uh, everything else is the same uh, I'm going to focus on this area um, this time uh, get it track laid get everything completed get the uh, get everything scenic and whatnot there and like I said in my previous video a while ago uh, once we get done here we'll move over to the yard area and start getting that uh, buttoned up a little bit I did want to give a shout out to um, my good friends Ron, Robert and Connie I had been looking for this key Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul, and Pacific brass key for a switch lock. I purchased this switch lock, Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul, and Pacific Railroad, years ago. It came without a key. I have no idea how long it's been since this has been open, but we're going to stick this key in here, see if we can't get this open. Looky there. That is the first time that this lock has probably been open and God knows how long. So shout out to Robert and Connie. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, funny story. I was uh, bidding on this key at an auction and uh, I got outbid. 
little did I know, uh, they had a plan uh, to purchase that and give it to me for my birthday, which they did uh, last month. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are great friends. So, leaving it at that, um, I'm going to get to work here. So, the next time I post a video, hopefully we'll have some track laid, uh, stuff put down, and some scenery and stuff done around here. So, until next time, everybody, have a good one.